Some devils. J Dog back. Hopefully, uh, heard in town. Fucking Big Willie is here at this goddamn hotel. So I figured, you know, probably go fucking hit up the gym. That's probably where he is. No, that's where the fuck I'd be. So worst case scenario, if he's not, I can always just go in there and pump some goddamn iron too. So I uh, figured let's check this fucking out and see what the fuck we got going on here. So uh, let's fucking kick it, goddamn it. This is the goddamn uh, hotel gym, so. Yeah, here, see, here we go, goddamn it. I knew he'd be here. Fuck yeah, we got goddamn... Yeah, we got fucking Will Romer of the almighty goddamn mortician. What's up, man? Good, 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 good. Yeah, last time I saw you was the guy. Here, I got a little, here's a little microphone for your mic. Let's see. Okay. Um, Let's get a little pump in before the show. <laughs> is that what you always do, Will? Oh, yeah. Always. Because you work like, you work out like crazy amount of yeah, hours, right? Yeah, four or five hours a day. Least. <laughs> <laughs> is it, do you think it's more mental or it's like physical? Yeah. Yeah. Mental. yeah. Mental. Otherwise, well, you just myself, you know. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. The results are good, but it's mainly, mainly for myself, you know. So. How old were you, you when you first started? How old were you when you first started working out? Um, seriously, about eighteen. And you're what, fifty-five now? I fucked around since like maybe thirteen to eighteen. Like, okay. Just a little shit here and there, but yeah, yeah. Seriously, like eighteen. You know, yeah, yeah. I got on the program and started doing it. You know? What, what, what inspired? Like, what, like? What? Um, definitely. Uh, some of the old school guys in the movies, like uh, Swan from the Warriors. Okay. You know the the rip look. Okay. Schwarzenegger, of course. Yeah. Conan, you know, yeah. That was, That's the shit I grew up on. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. You know, mostly from the old days. Yeah, yeah. Seventies, eighties. Look, you know. So were you in a, were you in a, uh, metal music first or weightlifting yeah, well, first? Well, I guess Kiss. You could say Kiss. Was the first band you heard? Was the first band I def definitely got into. Me. Okay. My parents actually took me to see Kiss in '79. Oh no shit! Okay. Gone. Yeah, the Dynasty tour. So it was crazy back then. You know. Yeah. I never forget that. Man. <laughs> yeah, I still got the concert shirt. Yeah. You know, and, when, uh, and when did you hear stuff like, because uh, I know, you, from what I remember, you like, you like Venom a lot, right? Oh, yeah. Well, when it, it led up to that. But uh, yeah. then there was ACDC, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, you know. And then I heard Venom, and it just changed my life. You know? Do you know what year you heard Venom? Uh, I think it was 83. Okay. Yeah. And what did you, like, so, who you like, did you think of? A friend of mine said, yo, Will, you, you got to hear this guy's voice, right? So he played it for me. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> 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 I've never heard anything like that in my life, man. Yeah. Because, you know, we used to, like, fuck a Motley Crue and stuff like that. Sure. And I, I heard Cronus's voice. I was like, wow. And back then, I actually took a, a, you know, we had radios that recorded, you know, like, cassettes. So we recorded a cassette. We put the radios together, and I taped it from the other radio. <laughs> yeah. You know, on a cassette. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. So yeah. The quality is horrible. But yeah. But it came out good, and that was it. I couldn't, I didn't know who the hell Venom was. You know? Yeah, sure. Back then, there was no internet. You couldn't no, yeah, yeah. Up, you know yeah, yeah. So, and it took me like about six months to finally track them down. I found the Die Hard mm -hmm. 12 inch in fucking uh, Crazy Eddie, man. Okay. That was the first time I ever seen a picture of him, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and that was it. I what did you playing. think? What did you think in like the overtly satanic lyrics? Did you Were you scared by it? No, did you no, like no. it? Or? I, I loved it because I was totally into horror, man. So yeah. to me, it was more horror yeah. really than satanic. You know? Yeah. So, like Buried Alive was the first thing I heard. Mm -hmm. so, to me, that was a satanic. Yeah. That was horror. Yeah, sure, sure, you sure. Know what sure. I mean? so, yeah. Then I heard the other stuff, but I didn't really care about that. It's the music, really. Yeah. In any case, in any event, like, it's the music that yeah. gets me first. I don't give a shit what anybody sings about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, to me, it was just total horror. Man, so. And did you hear, like, Merciful Fate after, slightly after yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Then I, I went along with everything that came out. You know, Metallica, Merciful Fate, you know, everybody, everything that came out along the way. With the vinyls, you know. I got the vinyls as they came out. Yeah. Slayer, everything, you know. Man of War, you know. Everything mm -hmm. that came out by the force. All the labels from back then, you know. Mm -hmm. I was on top of, actually, with cassettes. I actually had cassettes first, and then I got the LPs after that. You know? mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I was surprised because you being one of the older guys, I remember always like when I was growing up, a lot of the guys your age was like Don of the Dead, Jim Kanye, yeah. Dwayne Morris, and those guys they liked some of like the early '90s stuff, like black metal, death metal, yeah. but pretty much stuff from the '80s. You were one of the older guys that liked. I remember like. Bands like Discord from Mexico and Hemorrhage. Yeah, that came later on. No, very later on. And I, and so, but you were one of the very few guys in that age bracket. Stages through the 80s, you know, as it came out. Then, you know, as we get, went along, then Celtic Force came out. How happened and all that shit. And to me, that was the heavy shit that came out. Yeah. Time, Celtic Force. I never mm -hmm. heard a guitar sound like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And as it went along, then they pumped that scum. Mm -hmm. Repulsion, the Slaughter from Canada, mm -hmm. the Autopsy, you know, all that shit. That, those right there was the main influences. Yeah. From Mortician right there. So sure. Kind of like... Put all that shit in a blender. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I was just surprised you liked like kind of like the 90s stuff. Because a lot of the guys, they fell off. They're like, oh, I don't like, you know, they didn't like it. No, I did. I did. 
I yeah. Get stuff yeah, you're one of the very few yeah. people that age bracket that still like stuff from 99, oh, yeah, 2000 yeah, and all yeah, that. I like a lot of stuff. Everything that is almost as true to what it is, man. I like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially all the Swedish and Finnish. Death metal. You know, like yeah. you know, in the 90s, the early 90s, that shit's crazy, man. I, I love all shit, yeah. Death Lake, yeah. all that mm-hmm. shit, you know? Like, yeah. I love that stuff, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's Do you still have a huge stuff. collection of this day? I know you're really. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never got rid of any of it, man. I still got it, man. You're fucking like. Close to 15,000 CDs. Oh, fuck. 5,000 yeah. LPs. Yeah, that's, 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 one, that's more than I have. Yeah, that's more, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the original. Yeah, yeah. Not the 180 gram, whatever they put out now. Like mm-hmm. the original ones. Man, yeah. That you could break. <laughs> and you, st- and you, still, you still play play the records and vinyls yeah, yeah, and shit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still play but you know, more, more CDs, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're easier and more to do. Yeah. records are better with a pack them away. Yeah. I, did, I still got the original uh, Mayhem Death Crush. Oh, wow. Yeah, so did you write like your honor? 86. Did, so you just wrote like Euronymous back then? or did No, no. Or? Actually, yeah, we did. A couple of times we wrote, I still got letters in the attic from him. You know, he, he liked the first demo. Yeah. Oh, oh really? Did yeah. he really? Yeah, I actually got a letter from him. No shit. And, uh, I didn't even realize he would even know what Mortician well, so was. Yeah, the sweetest thing, like Dismember, mm-hmm. Unanimated, Unleashed, mm-hmm. Entombed. Grave. Know, all those guys. We went over there. I went with uh, Russell and Malaysia one mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Vacation, and we all met. Crematory, you know, like all those guys. Trebuenka. Yeah. Like everybody. We were all hanging out together. So we, they gave us some seven inches and, and demos and stuff. I still got all that stuff, you know? Yeah. All that shit, man. And so with that, that, man. with that being said, since you, yeah, you were there since metal was really just being spawned, still into this day, like in all the subgenres like that, what, do you, what is your take? And I know a lot of bands aren't going to want to agree or say because it's like, ah, oh, it looks kind of arrogant. Many people would say, including myself, that they consider Mortician like the heaviest band of all time. What do you, what, what, do you, I appreciate it. Do you agree or disagree or I, like? I appreciate it. Yeah. I don't agree or disagree because I don't know. There's, there's a lot of stuff out there I haven't even heard. Mm-hmm. So I can't say. I know there is a lot of heavy shit out there. Yeah. Especially a lot of doom bands. Yeah. But if you ask it for all around heaviness, vocals, music, everything, maybe. Yeah. You know, so some bands have heavy music but different vocals. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I can't really tell. Well, that's like, it's there's funny. There's thousands of bands out there. Well, it's funny you bring that up because between the very low tuning mortician and the very, very low vocals, I always kind of wondered because even your first style of vocals on like the Incantation and Trapment of Evil demo yeah. and the mortician demo, your vocals were low and brutal, but they were definitely different. Yeah. Did I you intentionally like change out. them? Or? Actually, when I first started out, like only four in a band. So what I did was I practiced every other day for like a year. Every other day. Mm-hmm. I kept going and going for like a year straight. Got set, so I was like, if I don't practice for a few months, it's still there. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, but you purposely were trying to get it lower, like that was intentional. That didn't happen on accident. I, had, I wasn't really trying to get it as low. Like one of my main influences was Cavalry from Massacre. Yeah, and sure. He's not really that low. Sure. He's just you know, guttural kind of. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But uh, he was definitely a big influence that time. One of the deepest ones out there years ago. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as it went along, it just got deeper. I think what we did next with Cannibal. Mm-hmm. Since it's such a, a long, slow song, that really worked on my book a lot. Mm-hmm. And it got it deeper. I think doing that song over and over, because that's a long one, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's constantly, you know, constantly inhaling. Whereas the other ones are faster. And it's, you know, when you're playing, it's like more like you don't have time to inhale as much. With that song, like it's very slow. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. You're constantly like, you're able to breathe in. You know, mm-hmm. That's how I say it from, you know, from the stomach. Yeah. It's like that, so. So it doesn't hurt your throat at all? No, ever? no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Well, out of all the, then, all, all the releases you've done then, what is, not what sold the best or a fan favorite, what is your personal favorite? That personal, you have... definitely Chainsaw. Okay, Chainsaw. okay. Chainsaw. And what's the, re- what's the reason for that? Like, because it's the most aggressive album we ever did. I mean, we wrote that whole album in a month. Okay. It's just out of pure rage. That one. Oh, okay. Me and Roger went through a lot of shit at the time. So we put a lot of shit into the music. And that was it. Like I, I went over to Roger's house, and he, he already down to me even more. Mm-hmm. I think the first song that he came up with on that one was uh, Island of the Dead. Okay. Dude, That's the really slow yeah, song. Yeah, that was the, it's funny because that was the slowest song in the album. No, the it's funny. It's like, funny. that's actually like my least favorite song because yeah. I'm not a big Dune guy. I was like, because it was slow. Yeah. But I mean, I love Stab and Drowned in Your Own Blood. Yeah, and, and after you know. that, then Desmond got involved a little too because mm-hmm. you know, he was on like Zombie Apocalypse then. Yeah. So he wrote some of the songs too. Okay. So the combination of three of us really, it was, it was intense. It was just yeah. Nonstop. So yeah. we did about, I'd say, 26 songs in three weeks. Mm-hmm. And then we did the last two like a week later. Well, it's funny because that's the, that's the, that, that's the record that that's the tour I saw you on 
in 99. And you guys, yeah. uh, Skinless opened up for you guys. It's hard to believe. It's fucking what? 24 years old. Man. I know. It's crazy, man. It's, uh, totally crazy. I know. Yeah, because yeah, when I was at that show, I, I went up to you. There's no way you remember that. That's why I first met now, you. Like, rabid, like, now, yeah. Nowadays, it's like one of the hits. Oh, is that what it has on YouTube? Yeah. I mean, that is definitely one of the hits of the catalog, no doubt about it. But that was the goal of that one, just to be fucking all hot glue, you know? Yeah. And in fact, if we ever get to do another one, it's going to be even better than that. And I'm talking like dirty songs. Yeah. You know? Well, that's what I was going to ask. Like, what, what, what is, um, like, what, like are you, I'm, I've always heard, even Roger's like, yeah, I plan on doing a new album. Like, what's... I know. Everybody's asking, for everybody out there, I can't really give any kind of... Timely. Is it writer's block or is it just... No, 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 no. We actually have about 12 to 13 songs already recorded from like 97 mm -hmm. or 98 that's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. We haven't done anything yet. Oh, so like old it's, songs that you wrote even way back. It's, it's, the, it's the distance. Roger's living in Vegas yeah. now. Sam's upstate. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, years ago, Roger was one mile away from me. Mm -hmm. I'd go right over to his house. He, I got something new. Okay, I went over there. We could come up with four or five songs in one night. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that now. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do that shit over the computer. Mm -hmm. That's not the way it works. Yeah. You got to sit across each other and do it like that. Yeah. You know, the old school. Yeah. We write the songs, we do everything. I bring them home, I get the lyrics, do the intros, and everything. That's how it works. Yeah. You can't do that like this. Yeah. We have to get together. We guys got to, because uh, well, in my, kind of as a, as a business move too, on your guys' end, what I think in my mind is you guys should strike while the iron's hot, because this is definitely the most popular you've ever been. Yeah. But, so now is a perfect time to have. That's one thing about us. We would never set out to be like this. We never no, I know. I, when, I, when, I, when I first started, there's like 20 people there. But that's what I mean. Now is the time, like, because there's people legitimately like, holy shit, the old school way. Mm -hmm. Do it at our own pace. Yeah. That's it. We can't be pressured. Yeah. Because if you get pressured, we're just going to do it half assed. Yeah. 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 It's going to be done right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's not done old school, it's not going to be done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, people that have asked me on the channel, too, like, you think if Mortician does an album, like, do you think it'll be with a drum machine or with no, a... No, no, no. Sam's going to definitely play drums. Oh, so it's going to be an actual drummer on this album? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So wow. It's just a matter of me and Roger and him getting together. We have to spend at least a weekend, you know, get it going. Yeah. We could probably do at least 10 songs in a weekend, mm -hmm. a couple of weekends. That's yeah. It. And then you guys should definitely do a final bloodbath part, too. Oh, yeah, that's oh. an old song. Yeah. We already talked to Sam about that. Okay, okay. But we're going to do a whole different... Set list. Songs. Yeah, not the same songs, no, of course. No, yeah, yeah. All different. Yeah, 100%. Shit like, why, why, do fucking, why do the same songs? Doesn't make sense. Songs. Yeah. Easy over 100 something. Or something. Yeah, yeah. You can easily pick another fucking 25, 30. And still have another 60 left over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like third or fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. So uh, I ask everybody this, and I'm kind of curious where your take is. It's kind of a two part question, but it could be answered in one. Yeah, especially you coming from a, a very brutal death metal band. What do you consider the first death metal album? And not just, but album, not demo. And also, like, kind of like your favorite death metal all the time. If you had to pick one, I know, or a top. I would definitely say Hellhammer Apocalyptic Race. For me, it was actually the first death metal. It's funny, the only other person. Death metal. Yeah. That I can say actually called death metal. That's, that's what Don of the Dead said. He's like, the yeah. first death metal band is Hellhammer. He said that that's initially to me years ago. I mean, yeah. That's what I would consider death metal. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, I know Possessed yeah. is claiming that, but they wrote the song Death Metal. Yeah. But they're not actually Death Metal because they mean they were on the border, right? Yeah, isn't it? Like yeah. Death, whatever. Yeah. It could be anything. But I think as far as down tune, deepness in the lyrics and stuff like that, the, the overall mood of the whole thing, I think Hellhound. Okay. You know, I would say that Apocalyptic Race. Mm -hmm. And you think, is that is that your favorite Death Metal album of all time then? Or do you... It's definitely one of them. Okay. It's definitely one of them. Yeah, yeah. And you, like, when stuff was like death metal's introducing blast beats, like let's say Altars of Madness, did you automatically like that, or were no, you like, no, oh, Altars of Madness was later on? No, I know that's what I'm saying, but that's what that was years later. But that was kind of like the. Ocean and Napalm Death. It's the first I ever heard. Well, Siege actually saying it was. But the argument on those bands are people who said that well, those are like grindcore bands and not necessarily death no, metal. I don't think more than grindcore. No, 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 Terrorizer. I'm saying uh, Repulsion and Napalm Death. Yeah, yeah. grindcore could. Yeah. Maybe the start of it. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't say it's that though. Yeah. Maybe it's definitely not that No, no, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then repulsion. Well, see, that's the thing with repulsion too. See, they they believe it's a death though. Yeah, 100 percent. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. It's so many fucking categories and shit. Sure, sure. It's just gets out of hand, really. Did you? I'm pretty sure I read this in an interview, and I said on my channel because sometimes. There's the people that love Mortician that talk in my comments and some yeah. people that don't like them. And so one of the reasons people that don't like them, they're like, because they, they have all the long intros. But here's yeah. the thing is, with that being said, 
a band that gets a pass, and I'm pretty sure you said this in the interview, a band that gets a pass, though, is Empatego. Everybody loves them, but they have long intros. And correct me if I'm wrong, I thought you said in a written interview once, the idea you got for the intros and stuff was from Empatego. Yes, it was. So it's, I, 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 I tell these guys, I'm like, you love Empatego. You have no problems with them having long intros. So what the fuck's the problem? It definitely influenced for the longer intros in between the songs. Yeah, like that. okay, because I was pretty sure I read that years ago, and I was like, uh, it sounds like that's, uh, I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, it, make, it does make sense. It's funny, when I, I remember going to play in Germany in 1998, and uh, we did a fuck the, uh, something, I, don't know, I think we fucked the commercial festival afterwards, and uh, we got in the car, and they were, they were blasting at the table, just after they broke up. Mm-hmm. And they were asking about it and stuff. And we, I was like, yeah, I know Mark and stuff. And, and it, was, it, was, it was cool. And he had it. And yeah, yeah. They were fucking worshiping at that moment. And it was yeah. crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. They were really big. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and they love all the shit, the intros and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can recognize a lot of his intros on the album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like the intro. I think it gives a character that's just cool. And I, it's, I, yeah. I don't give a shit if fucking one. Not who cares, man. This needs to build up to the song. You know? No, I, I, I kind of percent yeah. Especially if you're writing about the movie, you want to put the best one you can. Yeah. And then, you know, who cares if it's two minutes? And it's because, yeah, you have just as, from what I understand, too, you have just as big of a kind of like a horror movie collection as you do basically metal collection. Yeah. Just about, right? Yeah. About 9,000 movies. Yeah. A combination of VHS, DVD, Blu ray. 4K, fucking collectible boxes. Got some Batman. You know what I'm saying? No, I got, yeah. Actually, uh, what the hell is it? That shit called years ago. The video disc? Oh, yeah. You know those big things you used to put in the machine? <laughs> so you have some of those? I got those too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As everything came out in the 80s, you know what I'm saying? We, we graduated as a one along. Mm hmm. Sure. So. Yeah, yeah. Was there any bands in the last, let's say, 10 years, newer bands, that, in, that you really liked? Is there anybody that came out? You're like, holy shit, I really like this. Plasma, definitely. Plasma from Germany. Okay. It's definitely one of, one of my all time favorites. It's one of the things that work out to all time. Constant, man. Plasma. Okay. It's sick. It's fucking sick. I have even actually, I'm going to put it, it's just, just, just brutal death metal or death it's, grind it's, or? It's, it's kind of like gut, mortician, metallic mixed together. Like if you listen to it, it's crazy, man. Like if, and they have, how many releases do they have? They have a couple full ones? If you down to metallic, like fucking like a hundred times, <laughs> if you got the kind of riffing like that, with the gargling gut vocals and shit, the mortician riffs. Really? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. And that came out in the last 10 years or so, that band? Yeah, I think it was uh, 2016. So. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on the... Uh, a lot of stuff on Rock and Roll Rex from mm-hmm. Germany. Okay. That guy puts out a lot of crazy shit, man. Like, yeah. Just about everything he puts out, I fucking love. Yeah. You could basically look at his catalog. Yeah. And every one of those releases I have. Yeah, okay. And every one is sick. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. It's really hard because I have thousands and thousands of fucking bands. Just like with the movies, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can't pick one. I can't pick 10. I can't fucking pick 20. Is, is a line. It's yeah. a line. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not all just into horror, really. Yeah. I'm into warrior style movies, biker movies, you know, exploitation, all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So What's your favorite it's horror? Hard, yeah, it's hard to pick. What's your favorite horror movie, though? Uh, the, uh, the Shining, definitely. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The Shining, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like and mainly yeah. because of the fucking music in that movie. Okay. <laughs> I actually had the soundtrack, the original soundtrack record, too. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the yellow color and everything. You know what I'm saying? Did you, get, did you see that movie when it first came out? Yeah, my dad actually took me to see it. I was 10 years old. Oh, no, I, remember, <laughs> I never forget that fucking scene when Jack Nicholson goes into the bathroom with the old lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That fucking fucking freaked me out. So, yeah, you're scared. Yeah. 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 But she came out. I was like, wow, the first time I see a naked lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it wasn't that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden she's fucking rotting. Yeah. You know, that, that Paul, when he looks in the mirror and you see the back. Mm-hmm. And it was so the skin coming off. So that freaked you out at ten years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, but it, you know, I love it though. It just made me want to see more. Yeah, more. I mean, he took me to see Jaws like five years before. That. Okay. You know what I'm saying? In a mm-hmm. movie called Bug. Mm-hmm. You ever see that one? Mm-mm. Bug is pretty that cool. Man. Look yeah. at that. Seventy-five. Man. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. It's a horror movie. The insects and shit. And uh, I just went along. The Changeling and Friday the Thirteen. All that shit. Everything that came out. Yeah. The way it came out. I seen it as it came out. Yeah, so you're going to the theater to go see all of these. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of shit. He took me to see Halloween too. Yeah. You know, shit like that. Yeah. I was 10, 11 years old. You know, yeah. So that's what I you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I was like, fucking 13 or something. I got my cousin's birth certificate. You know, they didn't ID you. Oh, yeah. ID back then, so I had a birth certificate. Yeah, yeah. He was 17. Yeah. I had moment to show me tape and I was like, <laughs> you're fucking like 12, yeah, yeah. not even close. Yeah. I was 12, 13 years old. Yeah. It's an R rated movie. Yeah, yeah. And then we used to have marathons every Friday at 13 when it came out. Mm-hmm. And the whole party crew from the woods that we used to hang out in. Mm-hmm. We all went to the movie theater, and then fucking everybody went in there with beers and shit and everything. Yeah. And he had beers rolling down the aisles and shit and everything. It's yeah. Cool. Every year, Friday the 13th, man. We yeah. see every, every chapter, man. Yeah. Out, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was cool, man. It was good times, man, back then, you know? 
oh, it's definitely different now. Things, oh, things yeah. nothing's. Nah, he can't do the shit. At least that house of these man with kegs in the basement, or underage people drinking and shit and everything. You can't do that now. Man. No. Yeah. I feel bad man, for the kids now. Man. Yeah. Because it was a cool way to hang out in the house. We used to have the red lights and hang the fucking horror posters all over the place. You know? We have a certain guy doing the bartending, you know. Do you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those days are done, man. Totally done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they completely missed out on something they'll yeah. never, an experience they'll never have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what you're talking So is there anything else you wanted to add, subtract, or say, uh, Will, or promote, just, or anything? I want to thank you. Yep, of course. For the interview, man. That's cool, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for filming. And all the fans out there, we love you, man. We just, we don't know what, when is the next album's going to be out sometime. I don't have no idea when. But we're going to try and play as many shows as we can. We're going to be limited, so come see us when you can. Yep. We don't You're, travel much nowadays, you know, so. We're being Cleveland soon. Yeah. Well, you're doing at least one show a month, right? Yeah, for now. Uh, yeah. Cleveland's next, and yeah. then I think in November it'll be uh, Boston. Boston, okay. And then we got St. Vitus in Brooklyn, and okay. Philadelphia in December, and I think we're going to take a little break after that. Okay, okay. You know, because we got all the vinyls coming up, thanks to you guys. Yeah, yeah. You guys are real houses together. I think we got about eight vinyls coming, so. Yeah, it's no, I mean, I was because it is funny. Like, that was always a dream come true. Like, every Mortician CD we did on vinyl. Yeah, it's great. And I was like, you guys yeah. do a fucking excellent job. You know? so, yeah, I was getting a lot of compliments on you know? But just funny because looking back at the first one we did, excluding the Mortician Flesh Grind split, but the first album yeah. was was hacked up for barbecue. And you look at the spine, it's 2005. The first person, like, yeah, fuck, yeah. was that long ago? Yeah. It's like, holy it shit. Is, that's crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, this time is fucked. What, the third repress? Yeah. So, uh, this would be the third, yeah, because it was pressed the second time, what, 10 years later or whatever it was. Yeah. And then, yeah, this would be the third, this, yeah. The second, I, the second one was fucking crazy, man. Yeah. The different all work and stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's great, man. You know? Yeah, no, yeah, okay. I was always kind of c- curious of what you thought of them. Oh, okay. I love them. I fucking love them, man. Yeah. They, they went so fast. Oh, I know. Same for, I, for yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's cool to make different variations every time, man. You know what I'm yeah. Different yeah. colors and stuff. Like yeah, that. because you have more reason to yeah. own. The, the multiple. Okay, we put them on a hundred times, man. You know, yes. Yeah. Most are a little different. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You know? I like collecting like, old school shit, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Different, different variations, different covers, and posters, and different things included, man. It's cool, you know. Hmm. So. Thousand percent. All right. Well, yeah. Thanks for the time, Will. And yeah, definitely. Yep. Now you can take me to the show. Yep. Take <laughs> <it> later. <laughs>